worship is to our shame and dishonor. So when we are worshiping God, when the righteous is worshiping God, there needs to be a voice. There needs to be a fruit of our lips. The Bible says we are to offer up the fruit of our lips. In other words, there has to be something we are saying and saying it out loud. Can I get an amen? Praise is never a silent thing. Oh, glory be to God. That's why some of you who are a praiser, you can never go into a church and it's silent and be quiet because you're a praiser. It's not mean that you're going show off or to brag or to do anything but you want to be able to open your mouth and lift up your hands without shame glory to god without reservation you want to be able to lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the lord can i get an amen amen it is our duty it is our honor it is the glory of the righteous to work to praise the lord because we who are righteous are the only ones listen carefully who have the experience of acquaintance with the glorious government of God. We are the only ones that now we have come to God, we have been justified by faith, and the righteousness of God have been imputed to us. Oh, glory be to God. We are now in right standing with God. We have been reconciled to God. We have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. We are now walking with him. We are now talking with him. Oh, glory be to God. And now we have been made righteous. Hallelujah. The Bible says we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Not our righteousness because our righteousness is like filthy rags. But the righteousness of God has been placed upon us. That when God sees us, he sees the blood of Jesus upon our souls. He sees that we are righteous. When everybody sees us doing all manner of evil, God sees us as righteous. He has thrown our sins into the forgetfulness glory to God and it's just as if we have never sinned we have been justified by faith we have been made righteous by the precious blood of Jesus the righteous have a right to praise God I said the righteous have a right to praise God hallelujah we alone we are suitable for praise I said we are suitable for praise we have been qualified Hallelujah for praise. We have been qualified for praise. Can you say amen? amen. Unbelievers who never tasted his goodness cannot praise him from the heart. God has no pleasure in his name being proclaimed from an unholy, unholy tongues. He has no pleasure in in the dead in Christ, in the dead people who are dead in their sin to praise him. He has no pleasure in the ungodly praising him. Yes. If the ungodly or a hypocrite at, attempt to exercise a praise, a, it will turn into reproach and dishonor and dishonor God rather than praise to God. God will never inhabit the praises of people who do not belong to him. Yes. He will never come and sit and yes. dwell yes. among people yes. whose lips are far from God, yes. whose hearts are yes. far from God. Can I get an amen? Yes. The Bible says with their me but their hearts are far from me glory to God and God is saying I want people who are joined near to me who are in right standing with me who have been justified by faith who are walking with me who are talking with me who are in relationship with me I want the righteous to praise me is there any righteous people in the house hallelujah the praise position thank you Lord is is only open Amen. to the righteous. Amen. Amen. I said the praise position Amen. is only open Glory. to the righteous. Yes. It is a part of our job description. Amen. If you want to describe Amen. the job Amen. description of a believer, Amen. Amen. a job description of a believer not only includes Amen. being a witness, yes. but also Amen. being a praiser, Amen. being a worshiper. Yes. Oh, glory be to God. Praise is a part of your job description. Amen. Everybody who is a believer in this house must be a praiser. We are not going to praise in the same way, but we must be able to do one or two things. We all must be able to lift up our hands and praise the Lord. We must be able to clap our hands and praise the Lord. We must be able to open our mouths and praise the Lord. Me. You separate me from praise, and I will never 
days and I will never be able to come into the magnified presence of God. I'll be ever, never be able to come under the weighty presence of God. How many of you enjoy the presence of the Lord? How many of you just feel really bad in your heart when you can't feel God the way you know you can feel God? How many of you just feel away in you when you can't feel God, when you can't touch God? 